Yesterday, Rocket Lab released a bunch of new information on the Neutron program as they get closer to the vehicle's maiden flight. The company confirmed they're still targeting the first launch later this year and nearing completion on some key mission milestones. Included in the update was not only information on their progress, but also a few different videos showcasing what they've been working on over the past few months. Here I'll go more in depth into Neutron's physical progress, the vehicle's launch pad, some of the final milestones still left, and more. One of the first new videos we got was of the top section of Stage 1. While only just a part of the entire first stage, the specific section includes the Hungry Hippo fairings, canards, and then the extended inner stage, plus all of its mechanical systems like actuators, locks, avionic systems, and even running all the flight software. They highlighted that the full assembly represents some of the most complex mechanical systems that exist on the vehicle, and that they all perform seamlessly during testing. They also mentioned that they're just a few small finishing touches away from another big check on the road to launch for Neutron for that whole section. In the video, you can see them first working with a canard, which will play a role during the return to Earth process as Neutron's first stage works its way back to the launch site for a landing. In renders, they show the vehicle with four in total, while the specific Neutron assembly only features one. They then showcase the opening of the Hungry Hippo fairings. In the past, we saw videos of this process, but it was practically just the fairings. We're now seeing these tests with the larger section of the first stage. The goal of this design is to save the fairings and simply close them after stage separation, allowing the company to easily reuse them again and again. The next video and major update they showcased was of Neutron's launch pad, or Launch Complex 3. The video is of a water deluge test on the recently completed launch mount. By now, with key pieces of launch site infrastructure installed like the water tower, propellant storage, launch mount, etc., the site is just about complete. Peter Beck tweeted saying, LC3 pad activation underway and launch site opening soon. When looking at the path to liftoff and different milestones the company needs to complete, the launch site definitely has some priority. This has to do with the fact that before they can launch, they'll need the pad for vehicle integration, a final static fire, and a wet truss rehearsal. Once the pad is complete, the company can focus solely on the hardware. On the topic of hardware, the Archimedes engine has also been very busy. In order to facilitate increased testing, the company got a second test cell online at Stennis with the goal of increasing the hot fire cadence. In regard to the engines, the company was quoted saying, at the engine test site in Mississippi, the propulsion team is doubling down on Archimedes. We're hot firing flat out, as you would expect, with flight avionics and full software stacks, and the team is busy tuning the engine through a barrage of tests. They went on to say, where we're targeting the testing right now, it's really all about the startup and shutdown transients and all those things. Once you reach thermal equilibrium, when the engine is just running at the equilibrium, you're not learning anything because everything is in a steady state. You're just burning propellant at that point. Our focus has been on all the operating conditions that we need to meet, especially when a reusable launch vehicle, when you come into a landing. One of the most challenging things are your propellants are hot and there are different pressures, so it's a far more challenging environment to be able to reignite an engine than a steady state burn. So that's really been our focus, they said. In terms of the total progress toward a maiden flight, just about everything is at the very least underway. Looking at a slide from the Q1 earnings update, it showcases some of what's been completed and what's being worked on concurrently. In progress includes stage one flight hardware, fairing qualification, stage 1 structures, flight mechanisms, engine qualification, launch complex 3, and even regulatory approval. The only steps that aren't underway already are the very last milestones before launch, that being vehicle integration, some static fires, wet dress rehearsal, and then launch. Interestingly, the company continues to predict a maiden flight by the end of this year. They were quoted saying, Neutron's debut remains on track for first launch in the second half of 2025. It's all about getting the first launch of Neutron off. That's why it's such an important thing. It's got all hands to the pump internally to make sure that we hit our objective of getting that off in the second half, they said. Assuming things go as planned and there aren't any major hiccups, it's possible the company manages to launch this year. That being said, it won't be easy. Besides physical progress, they also revealed a major new contract. Specifically, Rocket Lab announced it will launch its new medium lift reusable rocket Neutron for the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory, or AFRL for a rocket cargo mission that supports point-to-point -point cargo transportation, establishing a new era of commercial launch capability to advance global defense logistics for the nation. The mission is scheduled for a return-to-Earth Neutron launch no earlier than 2026. They highlight that the launch contract will see Neutron execute a rocket cargo survivability experiment under the AFRL Rocket Experimentation for Global Agile Logistics or Regal Solicitation an effort by the Department of Defense to create a rocket-based point-to-point transportation system to quickly and rapidly deliver cargo around the world with commercial launch providers. AFRL's experiment will be launched by Neutron in re-inner Earth's atmosphere, in a demonstration of re-entry capability for future Regal missions. 
Rocket Lab founder and CEO Sir Peter Beck said, Neutron is a powerful new launch option that will set a new standard for performance, affordability, and reliability for government and commercial space users in medium launch. This opportunity for the U.S. Air Force not only helps to advance space logistics, it also demonstrates a high degree of confidence by the DoD in Neutron's capabilities. Anticipation is high for Neutron's inaugural flight this year, and we're excited to showcase Neutron as a platform for R&D and point-to-point logistics for the DoD, he said. In a statement, the company pointed out, Neutron is strongly positioned to capitalize on the medium-lift launch requirements for future government and commercial missions. Recently, significant progress continues to be made at the rocket's launch pad in Wallops Island, Virginia, with the site's completion expected in the next few weeks. Production, infrastructure scaling, and both Archimedes' engine and full-scale components testing is continuing at pace across Rocket Lab's various production and test facilities in the United States, they said, all of which supports a maiden flight in the relatively near future. In addition to that contract, last month the U.S. Space Force picked Rocket Lab to compete for the Department of Defense's highest priority national security missions for its National Security Space Launch, or NSSL, Phase 3 Lane 1 program. The firm fixed price, indefinite delivery slash indefinite quantity, IDIQ contract, has a five-year ordering period that will run through June 2029 with a maximum value of $5.6 billion. In a statement, they said, As one of only five launch providers selected for the Department of Defense's program, eligibility for NSSL Lane 1 includes stringent requirements that aim to develop a diversified, competitive, and reliable domestic launch base to provide launch services for its highest priority national security missions. The program plans to award a minimum of 30 missions within its contracting period through to 2029, with the potential for an extension through to 2034. As part of the on-ramp to the NSSL program, Rocket Lab receives a $5 million task order to perform a capabilities assessment that demonstrates the company's tailored approach to mission assurance for launches awarded through the NSSL program. Peter Beck highlighted, Supporting assured access to space for the nation's most important missions has always been the goal with our Neutron rocket and we're incredibly proud to be selected by the U.S. Space Force to demonstrate this commitment to the NSSL. We can't wait to showcase Neutron as the important platform it will become for the Department of Defense, he said. The purpose of Neutron is to become a next-generation challenger to deliver a cost-effective, reliable, and responsive launch service for commercial and government missions, something we can hope to see fly for the first time later this year. Rocket Lab is on the home stretch toward Neutron's maiden flight. Later this year, the company is expecting to complete final static fires at both complete stages before vehicle integration and eventually a maiden flight in late 2025. In only the next few weeks, we can expect the company to announce the completion of the launch site. We will have to wait and see how it progresses and the impact it has on the space industry. Thank you very much for watching.